Thank you, Chairman. Today we have a major generational challenge, whether we're going to allow the pollution of the 20th century to persist well into the 21st century, whether we're going to allow super funds of, this, of the past to continue to threaten the future of our nation. It's also about whether we're going to hold accountability for polluters or set it up for taxpayer bailouts of polluters well after the jobs have been lost, the money's been made, and the responsibility has left town. And then we remember about the communities that are left behind facing these poisons, this cancer, these massive deaths that happen in communities affected by it. I've heard several times the, the phrase that it'd take over 100 years to fix these things. Not if we work together. If we work together, we could do this far quicker. We saw what, when we worked together on the vaccines, people thought it'd be impossible. And yet now we have well over half the American people receiving at least one shot, if not two, and going to our young people next. We can do big things in this nation. I know our friends across the aisle believe that. We're asking for your help on this. Every district, red or blue, conservative, progressive, centrist, has some Superfund sites either in them or near them. This is about the health of our constituents and the future of America in the 21st century, and we ask for your help to work with us. The resiliency pieces that are being discussed today are particularly critical for Florida since we are facing increasingly intense hurricanes and rising sea levels while still simultaneously having an increase in population. And Chairman Pallone mentioned about the Ramapo Indians. Uh, while I moved to Florida half a lifetime ago, I grew up with those families in Ringwood, New Jersey. I knew those families personally, and a cancer cluster ravaged so many of them. Uh, deleting a site doesn't take away the risk. We could pat ourselves on the back here in Washington, and some administration can say they got the job done, but all it does is set a ticking time bomb for the communities left behind. We see a similar situation forming in Piney Point in the Tampa Bay area that I talked about in our last committee hearing about an overflow of gypsum stacks from the mining of phosphate from long ago in those areas. Rather than cleaned up, it led to be, it persisted and now we have huge issues with pollution. In my own district, we have hope because we have the Kissimmee River restoration, an example of how we can restore important watersheds to their natural uh, historic environments. And, and the Kissimmee River has been a, uh, an example of how, of, of increasing and in, in restoring a, a major riv river watershed. It's something that's possible if we work together. Uh, Mr. Gomez, uh, when super fun sites are remediated, are they returned to pristine pre-contamination states or does some contamination sometimes remain on the site? Right, so in some cases, uh, some contamination does remain on the site. Perhaps it's contained with some kind of cap and uh, sometimes the contamination is treated on site. Sometimes it's removed from the site to be treated elsewhere. So, elsewhere. so it just really depends and you have to look at each site individually. So when we're looking at gypsum stacks, basically pools of, uh, of waste left over from phosphate mining in Florida, uh, if it gets hit by a hurricane, how does that and other extreme weather from climate change threaten the release of contaminants in these Superfund sites? So I think that's the real concern, right, is to then look and see how those pools are perhaps being additionally reinforced or made resilient, as, as you've noted, to those impacts. So it does require uh, an additional review, perhaps, to see what, what takes place. And now if it's a site that's been completed, what happens again is every five years, EPA comes through and does a review. So that would be an opportunity for them to see if conditions are changing, what does it mean? Does additional action need to take place or not? Sure, and I've seen fully restored sites. It's actually pretty breathtaking about how things can come back, but it takes resources. It takes communities coming together, and we need to have a better system going forward to make sure we have accountability for polluters uh, to make sure that we're protecting our communities.
across this nation and I yield back. 